Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Today we're going to change things up a little. I've had numerous requests to talk more on sound in film, so I thought where better to start than Harry Potter? As one of the biggest inspirations for me that has also helped me out in dark times, I could go on and on about these films. However, I've chosen 10 moments where I loved the sound choices, whether that be line delivery or extremely specific sound effects. So let's get straight into it. Fluffy. Philosopher's Stone. When the trio are sneaking around trying to prove that Snape is trying to steal the Philosopher's Stone, they come across a door which leads to Fluffy, Hagrid's three-headed dog. Once the animal has woken up, it begins attacking Harry, Ron, and Hermione. It sticks its head out of the small door and tries to bite the kids. <laughs> Now on a first listen you wouldn't even notice anything specific with this scene, however I hear every element of Fluffy's bite, my favourite being the extremely short teeth clicking. It's an odd one, I know, but it makes me very happy every time I hear it because it shows how many sounds are layered to make up any given moment. Tom Riddle's diary, Chamber of Secrets. After finding a diary in the girls' bathroom, Harry returns to the Gryffindor common room where he soon finds out it is Tom Riddle's diary. The sound that I love in this scene is Harry's quill on the paper. My name is Harry Potter. Now I chose this moment purely because it's satisfying. It has the same effect on me as ASMR. Also, it's extremely likely this was recorded in post-production to get the clearest sound. For those of you that don't know, this is what is referred to as Foley. Flooded Halls, Chamber of Secrets. Another moment in the second movie is when Harry hears the Basilisk in the Halls of Hogwarts. Upon hearing the voice, he starts running to its source, which inevitably will be to Filch's cat, Mrs. Norris, paralyzed next to the words, the Chamber of Secrets has opened, enemies of the air beware. As Harry, Ron and Hermione run, they end up in the flooded corridor. Here, you hear their footsteps. <laughs> The little tapping of their feet mixed with the splashing is another satisfying noise to me. Also, most of the time, footsteps are added in post-production. So next time you watch this scene, just imagine a grown adult walking on the spot in a water-filled tray trying to perfectly match the timing of the actors. Ron's got a howler, Chamber of Secrets. Now this one is more of a favourite scene for me with a very specific line delivery that makes me enjoy it so much. Staying with the second film, Ron receives a howler while eating lunch in the Great Hall. The howler is my favourite magical item, closely followed by Slughorn's Hourglass. Ron! Weasley! How dare you steal that car! From Julie Walters' delivery to the accompanying sounds of the letter being ripped up, it's just an extremely memorable moment in the films for me. Sectum Sempra, The Half-Blood Prince. For years, this film was my favourite, and I believe it was for the more in-depth dive into Draco Malfoy's character. We saw a different side of him, with him slowly breaking down in his quest to prove himself to he who must not be named. In the scene where Harry finally confronts Draco in the bathroom, they duel before Draco is cursed with the Sectum Sempra spell, which translates to cut forever. In other words, it results in his body being covered in cuts that can never be healed, unless with a counter curse. <laughs> This is just one of the scenes which neglects the use of music. We hear the spells in their raw form, and I just love how they create the sounds of spells hitting the surrounding environment when you know that when they were filming, they were just waving around some sticks. Umbridge, Order of the Phoenix. At this point, we all love to hate Umbridge. She is one of the best written characters of the series who is also played to perfection by Melda Staunton. She is definitely one of my favourite characters, and one thing that makes her stand out to me is Staunton's giggles, shall we call it? <laughs> <laughs> she does them throughout the film and every time you hear the little sound you hate the character just that little bit more. Fireworks, Order of the Phoenix. Now I could do an entire video on my favourite pieces of music from the Potter series but my number one go-to song is Fireworks. This is from the scene where Fred and George Weasley set off fireworks during the owl exams as their parting gift to Hogwarts. The score brings this scene together and just makes the whole thing even more whimsical and magical. <laughs> Also, this is always the song that is playing when I enter Diagon Alley over in Universal Orlando or the studio tour in Leavesden, so it's got a special little place in my heart. Harry confronts Snape, Deathly Hallows Part 2. This one is another line delivery moment. In Part 2, we see Harry sneak back into Hogwarts right under Snape's nose. Honestly, I love this whole scene from Rickman's performance and pacing of dialogue to the eerie quietness of the castle. This film is dark, but my god this scene really conveys just how depressing Hogwarts has become since that first time we see it in Philosopher's Stone. But the moment for me which gives me chills is as Potter confronts Snape. How dare you stand where he stood? 
Tell them how it happened that night. Tell them how you looked him in the eye. A man who trusted you and killed him. The soft music mixed with Radcliffe's delivery pushes the severity of Potter's anger and disgust towards Snape, and god it's just so good. Also the scene ends with McGonagall being badass and taking her place as headmistress, so what's not to love? The final battle, Deathly Hallows Part 2. I couldn't make this video and not talk about the final fight between Harry Potter and Voldemort, and yes I'm talking about the one where dear old Voldy disintegrates. While I do prefer the battle in the book, there is something truly beautiful about this scene and the fact it is just the two of them. I think for me I enjoy it because of its real lack of dialogue or sound effects. The entire thing is covered by music, but they choose extremely specific sounds to further the narrative. All these sounds are muffled and distant from the crawling along the ground to the sound of Voldemort's face coming apart. The only moment which brings you fully back into the scene is when the duo cast their spells. It's only for a few moments before we are sent back to the slow motion distant view, but I don't know, it just made me feel even more attached to the characters I have followed all my life, and it never fails to raise the hairs on the back of my neck. He's back. Order of the Phoenix. And finally we come to my favourite sound moment not only in Harry Potter, but probably in any film I have ever seen. At the end of the sixth film, Dumbledore finally comes to help protect Harry by putting himself between the Chosen One and Voldemort. This is when the best duel in the entirety of the franchise plays out, and you want to know why I think it's the best? Because of its lack of music. It's raw, it's specific, and it fully brings the audience into the scene. Every spell and curse has specific sound choices to convey what those spells do. The water spells sound like water, the fire spells sound like a firework. There are no distractions, and unlike the first few films where spells sound whimsical and fun, this scene really shows that they can be dangerous. Honestly, if you ever want me to stop talking, just start playing this scene and I will shut up immediately. Now while those are my top 10, there are so many more that I could have discussed, and I know I didn't talk about really anything from Prisoner of Azkaban or Goblet of Fire, so here are some other moments in the Harry Potter films that I really love because of the sound. <laughs> Are you saying you can operate in and out of this room? Could you take us with you? Of course, uh, I'm an elf. Merlin's beard! <laughs> no need to disfigure me, Elvis. Pierre Totem Locomotor! You put your name in a couple of fire. Expecto Patronum! That's my son! That's my boy! That's my boy! Not to mention the pincers. And there you have it, my favourite sound moments in Harry Potter. I hope you enjoyed this video because it's one that I've been wanting to make for a while now, but if there is any other films that you want me to specifically talk about, please leave a comment down below. Also in light of the recent tweets from JK Rowling in validating trans people, I'm going to include links down below to where you can donate to charities to show your support for trans lives. Her actions are inexcusable, especially coming from someone who created a world that so many found comfort in, myself included. Everyone deserves love and respect. I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you next time.